Good morning, everyone. Welcome to The Farming Pastor's Wife. I am so glad you're here. My name's Leslie. I am The Farming Pastor's Wife. You are in my kitchen down here on the farm, and I am super thrilled to have you here. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to continue our crock pot bonanza <laughs> that we started last week. So if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to do so. I upload content mainly on cooking, sometimes on uh, farming, ministry, day in the life of, grocery hauls, you name it, you'll probably find it here. So, okay, with that being said, I'm going to run the intro, get all my ingredients out, and we're going to make crock pot pork chops. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open Okay, this week is a terribly busy week here on the farm, hence the way I look. I've already been at the farm working this morning, and um, I've actually got to do some more work, and it's a busy week. We sell our chickens. We're poultry farmers, so our chickens go out this week. It's also Easter week. My husband's a pastor, so that is a huge week for a church, and so we have lots of things going on. And it's just a busy week. I need these crock pot meals this week more than ever. So today we are going to use pork chops. And we're doing it easy style. I mean, we're going to do smothered pork chops. I could definitely make my own gravy, make a roux, and make my own gravy. But y'all, I'm telling you, this week is crazy. So I'm not going to go that route. We're going easy style, and it's going to be just as delicious, if maybe not even more so. It's going to be flavorful. It's going to be wonderful. So, let me get these pork chops open, and I'll meet you right Let me get you guys turned down here. I got the pork chops open and in the crock pot insert. I'm using a liner today. I don't always use a liner just for expense reasons. But like I said, this is a crazy week and I need to go for easy. So I'm just going to season them up with a little black pepper and salt is all I'm going to use. All right, and we're just going to slide this out of the way for right now. And we're going to get our gravy mixture going. I've got two cans here of cream of mushroom and again you can make your own cream of mushroom soup but um, this is this is hard farm day pork chops <laughs> or working mama pork chops this is this is for people who have a busy week and um, not all weeks are this busy for us, and there are some weeks I get to cook home-made meals like completely from scratch, but then there's some days that are hugely busy, like this week, this whole week is going to be slammed full between getting things ready for church. We have children's festivities on Saturday. We have, um, we're, our church has grown, so we're moving our services to a local elementary school to hold everyone um, for Easter services because Easter services are genuinely um, highly attended. And so um, we have a breakfast Sunday morning. We normally have a sunrise service, but since we're moving our church services to uh, the elementary school. We're not doing a sunrise this year. Um, and then, of course, you have your family dinners. Um, not to mention the fact that we are selling chickens now, over two days. We'll be up all night long, um, Wednesday night, Thursday morning. 
So we have, oh, it's a hugely busy week. Okay, so that was two cans of cream the mushroom. It was about a little over a cup of chicken broth that I just put through together using chicken base. And here is our secret ingredient, <laughs> our not really secret, but our flavorful ingredient, which is Lipton onion soup mix or onion soup mix. This is the uh, off brand. And so we're going to pour that in here. And that has a lot of salt. So take it easy when you salt your pork chops because that's a soup mix. Now you can chop up some onions and add in here. I'm not because uh, I have the onion soup mix, I, but you definitely could. Um, I, I'm just really and truly trying to be quick and easy about this thing. But I will show you what I am going to add in here. Let's see, I want to get that pork chop down in there. I wonder if I can find some more pork chops to add in there. <laughs> you can add as many pork chops. Those were medium thickness, um, bone out, boneless, bone out, boneless pork chops. Um, and But you could use bone in. That's totally fine. I'm going to cook this on low because it'll probably be late tonight before we're ready to eat. But it'll be ready. It's... 9 30, 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, 1 30, 2 30, 3 30. Oh, yeah, it's going to be ready in plenty of time. So, what I'm going to add to this is I have some mushrooms here, and I'm just going to add those in. You can add them a little later, or you can add them now. I'm going to add them now. Um, I did rinse those because they were a little bit dirty, and they're sliced, and they weren't pre washed or anything. Um, if they're whole and they're not too terribly dirty, I take a wet paper towel and wipe them off uh, really good. And, and I'm actually cleaning them better than I am rinsing them that way because I'm actually getting each individual mushroom. Um, but if they're terribly soiled, I'll do that and then rinse them. Um, but if they're sliced, I still rinse them just because it's harder to wipe them off um, with little pieces. So, uh, But you do however you feel like you need to clean your mushrooms. You go right ahead. Uh, I do know you don't want to clean them until right before you use them because they will get slimy. And you don't want your mushrooms to get slimy. So um, I'm going to put the lid on this. We're going to cook this on low. Look how easy that was to throw together. Two cans of cream of mushroom. And you can use cream of chicken. If you don't like cream of mushroom, use cream of chicken. Um, uh, some chicken broth, a pack of Lipton onion soup mix or onion soup mix, and um, mushrooms are optional depending on if you like them or not. We happen to love mushrooms, so, um, but if you don't like mushrooms, leave them out. Add onions or whatever you want to add to this, you can. So, I'm going to get it on low, and I'll see you back when we're ready to have supper. I'll probably serve this with some mashed potatoes or some rice and some green beans. Not sure yet, but I gotta get to work. The farm is calling. While the pork chops are cooking, let's take a little uh, farm adventure. We got a few things to look at at the farm. Okay guys, we in the spring cut hay for to put up for cows for the winter. Um, also, we sell some hay as well, but um, this is one of the fields that we cut for hay and um, so we moved the cows off of this pasture but as you can see we have three cows out there we have three cows out there that like to get out and um, get in the pasture they uh, it was just two cows but I see this morning they brought a buddy with them we've got we've gotten them out two or three times and have loaded um i mean fixed the fence and so forth but they're in there again so we have got to figure out how they're getting in and keep them out but <laughs> part of farming whoo y'all it's a work day on the farm 
Bryant's giving me several days off. And now I'm paying for it because I'm all out of shape and tired. Exhausted. Exhausted. Could go home and take a nap right now. It's only 1230. But I'm hungry, so. Yeah. It sounds like a good hot dog day to me. What's for lunch? Sounds like a good hot dog day to me. Do they make keto hot dogs? No, I don't even care about keto right now. I'm hungry. Uh, or carnivore hot dogs? No. Nope. Yeah. All right. Optavia hot dogs? No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, everyone. Are you ready to see this? Oh, look at that gravy. Y'all, I've already given it a taste, and it is absolutely delicious. So, um, but we have a little extra time today, so we're going to wait for Bryant for the taste test on this, and he should be here shortly, I think, so we'll let him give it a taste. I'll probably, I was going to fix mashed potatoes, but I'm going off to our quilting thing at church, so I think I'm just going to let him fix him a baked potato, and um, that should be sufficient, and oh, y'all, this is so good. Let me introduce you to the hardest working man I know. Hey, 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 been at it all day. All day, and so he is ready for some good meat. Look at there, look at there. Um, he don't have the potatoes yet. I'm gonna let him fix his potato whenever he's ready to actually sit down and eat like a big meal. But he's gonna taste this for you right now. Tell him what I'm doing now. What are you doing? I'm spraying pastures. Oh yeah, spraying pastures. Spraying pastures, I'm that dirty. That time of year. Yeah, I'm dirty, so here we go. All right. Zoom it up so I don't get my head. <laughs> I can't without walking over I love, I love anything that's got to do with mushrooms. <clears throat> there we go. Let's go right there. Mm, that is so tender. It's almost like a pork roast. It's and, so good. Mm -hmm, tender. and. I already had a bite. And delicious. You want to know about here? Nope. Nope. Go ahead. Sure. Nope. Yep. That right there is really, really good. Put on some mashed potatoes. Mm. That's what I was going to say. Some creamy potatoes. Put that little gravy juice on it right there. That dog will hunt. Or rice even. Yeah. That'd be good too. Oh, it'd be really good on rice. Easy. Easy, right? Very easy. I had it together in no time. Yeah. And, uh. So you going to have a good supper tonight? I'm going to have a very good supper. Just a good little snack. While she's going to quilting class. <laughs> mm hmm This is a warm-up. Warm up, mm -hmm. warm up this supper. Yep. Okay, guys. Well, there you have it. There's the opinion on the pork chops. So I believe they were a hit. Hey, so hang on. Did I tell you about the, the guy that time? He was in his house eating supper, and he heard the, heard the doorbell, and he went over to the doorbell, and there was a little snail on the front porch. He thought, how in the world did that snail reach that doorbell? But he just got mad at frustration. He just took his foot and he kicked that snail. That was the end of it. Well, about three years later, the doorbell rang. And the guy opened the door and there was that snail. And you know what the snail said? What? What was that for? <laughs> took him that long to get back. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. What was that for? What was that for? Okay. <laughs> we'll let you go on that note. I can apologize, but uh, some of you are going to like that. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I hope you enjoyed this, another episode of the Crock-Pot Meals. And um, we've got a couple more coming. And I will see you guys tomorrow, not tomorrow, I'll see you Thursday on The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all. Bye,